so the LMP Center at Corbett is a peace building institution and also a human rights based organization. We monitor, we document, and report on violations and abuses, but we also focus on providing services and reprieve and some sort of intervention to address that and not just collecting data. And in 2010, when I first went back, it coincided with a terrible humanitarian crisis. We saw mostly women with children in tow, all flocking to Mogadishu from the rural areas because of the famine. And since then, almost like clockwork, every five years, even now, we are in, in the middle of a drop and a moving famine. We see that women are disproportionately affected by conflict, mm. by environmental degradation, by lack of access to services, to patriarchal systems, to exclusionary policies. And the question of why women can't meaningfully engage is, is, is loaded, but I think the biggest challenge that we see is that there hasn't been much evolution in, in the way that we view women's unique influence in the community. So the work that we're involved with is on disarmament, rehabilitation, and reintegration of young people, including young women, children, and adults that are leaving armed groups, terrorist organizations, children within the ranks of mil military groups with the government. And all of these spaces are not spaces that women are generally allowed to participate in. To your mm -hmm. question of what are the spaces that women engage in when it comes to peace and security. There's non-threatening issues that women can engage in, peer-to-peer, -peer, you know, community mobilization, awareness raising, advocacy, all important parts of the peace process. But when it comes to inside mediation, reconciliation, peace agreements, disarmament, there's certain levels that there becomes a barrier for our women's participation. And we see that till today in Somalia, but across the world as well. So our approach to building peace and meaningfully including women is investing in social peace as much as we do in political peace. There's 56 active armed conflicts in the world today. Statistically, UN or political peace building agreements don't last more than seven years. And each time we hear about women being uh, the breadwinners, the you know, you teach a woman, you teach a, a village, and the, the intrinsic role that they have, and all the rhetoric is there. But every time there's an opportunity to actually implement the frameworks and the toolboxes, the patriarchy rears its ugly head, mm -hmm. and we resort, we resort to the laziest and fastest options. 